this is the help you need with another 3ds max video tutorial now in this video we're going to go ahead and make some quick facial animations it's just going to be an introduction to using morphs as you can see simple head simple facial animations here we're just moving the corners of the mouth basically four big smiles on different sides that's all i did um, now you'll see here we've got this here are my keyframes so we'll go ahead and go through them. Different times, smiles at different parts. You can see it gradually change. All right. Uh, basically, that's what we're gonna do today. Uh, we're gonna do that with using Morpher. So let's go ahead and delete that out for now. And we're gonna open up the layers here. Uh, I'll hide this. All right. Now you see that I have five different types of this head here. So let me go ahead and delete that out because uh, they're unneeded for right now okay see so, you now we've got a mesh smooth uh, modifier added we're going to go ahead and take that off and we're just going to hold shift and drag it over and this is going to be uh, L smirk which is going to be the left side of the mouth of that L smirk so alright uh, basically what we're going to do from here like this, pull it down. Alright, now you'll see keyframes are still here, but they're not going to do anything. So you can go ahead and delete these keyframes. They're not doing anything for us, so let's go ahead and delete them off. Alright, uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make um, two more heads, and this next one is going to be Elsberg 2 and it's going to go right here. Okay, or I'm sorry, I'll smirk zero one. All right, and then we're gonna wait to pull this down. This should be a zero two. We're gonna change this one right here to zero one or two. I just uh, R smirk. So now this one is R smirk. All right, and this one is R smirk zero two. Okay. So now we have four heads plus our main head and as you can see um, layers are something that are kind of useful um, we're actually working in this layer so now if I hide this layer oh it looks like we're not working in this layer I lied alright so what we're going to do is we're going to move these to this layer so that way they're all in here as you can see there's only one thing in there that don't really need it um, go ahead and add selected objects to highlight a layer and now I hide they're gone Alright, this is good just that way uh, when you're actually doing your animations. Now, I would not suggest this, obviously, for um, really high intense or um, for like body structures or anything. Alright, anyway, uh, let's go ahead and just start it here. Basically, we're just going to move around some vertices. And um, this is going to be the left side of the face, which is actually the right side in this viewport. So, the way we're going to do this is we're just going to grab, we'll just grab all of these right here. Um, basically, all of those. And I'm going to do this. This will open up the mouth a little bit. Go to rotate it. Bring it up like this, bring it out like that. Okay, we can go ahead and move that down. Now we can move some of these other facial things so it looks kind of uh, like it would be if you were smiling or smirking in this case. So now you got that. So you got the first one added here. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a mesh smooth modifier to this one because this one you can do it on as long as you have the morpher underneath it. Which is uh, what we're going to do now is add the morpher. So go ahead, morpher. And just drag this underneath. And now you're ready. Now we're gonna pick from scene and we're gonna select this one. Alright now when I pull this up, you're gonna notice that the left side of the mouth moves up up until it hits exactly where it is on the other thing. Uh, or sorry, on the mouth. It's kind of like uh taking these and moving it up gradually up to one hundred 
uh, percent. These are percentages, by the way. So let's say we want just kind of a little smile here, like that. So we're going to start with. All right, and now we're going to do another left side smirk, and this one's going to go all the way up. Actually, we'll do this one, make it a frown. So we'll do frown. Okay, basically same thing, same principles anyway. This time you're going to pull that in though. Go to rotate, move it down, move it out. Okay, and then go ahead and move these accordingly. Because you want to keep the edge loops a little bit in here so that way it looks still right. Alright. Let's see here, take that off. Uh, it looks a little, a little choppy up here, so. Move that. Otherwise, yeah, that's about right. Now, obviously, you're not going to smirk it only with just one side. Uh, but whatever. Um, Alright, let's go ahead and add this to our morpher. Actually, we'll make it the third uh, one on here, so that way we keep it all organized here. So now, let's say I pull this down and move this. So you kind of like a disgusting look. Now, if you go 100% on both of these, obviously, it's just going to go right back to the middle. But what you can do is you can put this up to like 23 and bring this up to 100%. It'll kind of move it, make it look a little bit different, as you can see. Alright, anyway. Let's go ahead and uh, start with these now. Smile, same way, but um, now a few of you guys might be thinking, can I just mirror it and do that? Uh, the answer is no, because what it does is it actually takes it from the mesh up here. These are all copies of this mesh up here, they just renamed something. So it actually takes it and it takes uh, from wherever. So if you actually were to just mirror it, what would happen is it would just take the uh, same side that it was actually worked on. Because um, 3S Max, that's how it kind of saves it. All right, so we're going to go ahead and do the same thing on this side. Go ahead and open that up. Move that, move that. Like that, that's fine. As you can see, as I get farther into this, I'm just kind of doing it a little bit sloppily. Um, that's just so that way I get this done quicker. Um, yeah. Alright. Last thing, just do a frown. And now this is really good um, for just quick animations especially, um, is what I would normally use this for. Um, so yeah. But you could use it for really long animations, for facial animations. It's actually not a bad idea, but you should probably uh, get a like a, a control panel, which maybe I'll do a tutorial on that, I don't know. Uh, now that's a really bad frown, but it's alright. Okay, so let's go ahead and frown on one side now. So, let's go ahead and add this. And add this. So one side is going to frown. Oops. Never rename that art oh, frown art. Right. Just gotta rename this from smirk to frown. Okay. So we got a smirk and a frown. Gotta reload. Looks like I had to delete it. So it's just kind of a crazy guy. And like I said, the layers are kind of useful because now what we can do, come to the layers, hide that layer. Alright, let's go ahead and click Z and you're going to notice that it's only going to keep up this viewport. So those are gone and now you can go ahead and make your animations accordingly, assuming that you know how to keyframe, which uh, you probably should if you are looking at this video. Alright, well that's it guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, if not, sorry, go ahead and give me a bad writing or post some bad comments. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys in my next videos. And um, good luck with this. If you guys actually want to show me it, go ahead and post a video response or something. That'd be cool. Alright, see ya.